Alright, hi and welcome back to Queer Comics. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. It is not Vicky Licks and Boy Drag. I wish he is keeping it tight out of drag, I will tell you. It's Andrew Johnston, who you would formerly know from Thursdays. Now I will be on Mondays, but this is the official start of season three of Queer Comics. I am back. Trana Wintour is back. Nikki Nisralla, who joined us last season, is back. And we are back with two new guest vloggers later this week. Uh, that is Shanda Lear. I wonder if that's her birth name. From Vancouver. And a good friend of mine and a brilliant comedian. Originally from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Now living in Los Angeles, California. Aisha Alpha. Anyway, so we've really amped up the production values for the season, as you can see, i.e. I've got a set. And by set, I mean that I constructed this backdrop to hang behind me because people kept on giving me criticism saying, and I quote, it's sad to see you in a basement. So, okay, cool, whatever. I went and I made this backdrop. I did things I have never done. Read craft. I went places I have never gone, home hardware, and I made this thing behind me that is suspending from my ceiling from a fixture that I installed. What the fuck? Oh my god. All right. So the topic this week is social media. Social media. What do I think of social media? Necessary evil or evil necessity? I think that social media, it's the way the, it's the way the world is now. I'm not going to be some cantankerous adult type, despite the fact that I know how to mount a ceiling fixture, which is a very adult thing to do, but I'm not so adult in my point of view beyond my ceiling fixture uh, skills that I am someone who's going to sort of complain about, uh, like, I don't understand why everyone needs to know what I had for breakfast today. I'm not like that. I get updates. I like that. I like that I get to get updates from people. Uh, it saves me a lot of legwork. It saves me a lot of uh, shoe leather, having to go and talk to people when I can just read a status saying, oh, I got certified today for this, that, whatever. I'm doing this in my career path. Oh, I just had this kid, whatever. You know, and then I can like, I can like it instead of sending them a gift or something like that, or God forbid actually seeing the child because, oh my God. Oh, what I do not like about social media, well, pack a lunch and buckle up. I find myself hate following people way too much. Like people who stage candids of themselves. Like if right now while I'm talking to you, I pulled up my phone and went click and then uploaded to Instagram saying, oh my God, what a, what a, what a great candid shot. I can't stand that. I can't stand people who advertise what cleanses they're on or what diets they're on. Someone is like, day 10 of diet, down four pounds. I'm like, it's not gonna last. Here's another thing. It's, I hate follow those people, but I also like, I'll stay tuned to be like, there's your regain. Like I'll, I'll keep track of their regain and I'll be like, <laughs> told you so. I will like cackle to myself privately. I have so much time in my day. Maybe that's my problem with social media. What I really can't stand is how social media has spawned this whole sort of uh, personal brand and personal narrative culture. If something happens to someone and you see them go out of their way to make sort of several spaced out posts about it, there's no way I can talk about this without being super specific and risk people who this would be about or who I'd be directly referencing uh, actually watching this. But I mean, odds are they're probably not. Odd, odds are good. The goods are odd. But You'll see this. You'll see someone make some sort of announcement about something. I mean, it could be a medical thing. This probably is like a big wedding thing, too. I think that, that could apply to anyone who's engaged. It'd be like, can't believe I'm engaged. All right, cool. You rack up 200 likes, whatever. And then a week later, oh, being engaged is crazy. I'm engaged. Did you hear I'm engaged? Something like that. You make the announcement, but then someone just kind of like cash keeps on bringing this up to just kind of really maximize that because they're they think that they've got this ongoing narrative that people are really subscribed to and for all i know that they are but i'm not i am sitting there judging you i am judging you it's gotten so bad my hate following and just time spent on social media just glaring and, and ogling has gotten so bad that I recently paid to download a software. $15 to download a software called Antisocial, which will block me from social media between the hours of X and Y because I cannot regulate this myself and need a robot babysitter to tell me when I can and cannot play with my toys. So 
Who the fuck am I to talk? Anyway, thank you so much. Buckle up for a great season three of Queer Comics. Make sure to subscribe to this and, uh, and like it on Facebook and follow it on Twitter and send me nudes on Instagram.